guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl gracie d i hope you guys are doing amazing i'm doing great here in kigali rwanda the land of a thousand hills if you're watching me and you haven't yet subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for please consider subscribing to this channel also don't forget to leave a like comment and share my videos so on today's episode uh i'm going to give you a tour of one of the most expensive one of the most beautiful good neighborhoods that we have here in Kigali, Rwanda. This is Nyaruta Rama neighborhood. The last time I was here, I never did a video around this area, but I did a video about the golf course. So this is uh, basically where the experts hide when they visit Rwanda or when they move to Rwanda. This is where all the rich tourists come and stay when they are in Rwanda. And also this is where most uh, ambassadors stay when they are here in Rwanda working. So also the reason as to why most people love this neighborhood is because you have everything around you, the stores, the nice stores where you can get everything like supermarkets, groceries, uh, pharmacies, you know, anything, good salons. So come along with us as we give you a tour of this beautiful neighborhood. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Also leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think about this neighborhood. And you live, if you live in this neighborhood, tell me what you like about living in Nyarutarama here in Mujiwa, Kigani. So come along with me. Nyarutarama is an upscale residential area, especially favored by embassies and high commission residences, but also has a number of services, including good restaurants, a shopping center, and a large international school by the name Green Hills Academy. Hmm, so guys, you can see the area is all green. Nyarutarama neighborhood is well developed with modern roads, sidewalks, and street lighting. One of the key features of the suburb is Lava's Lake in the Nyarutarama Valley, bordering on Kigali Golf Course to the west. The lake is surrounded by a walking track set within a lush green vegetation. <laughs> Yeah, this is Nyarutarama area. Yes. One of the beautiful areas here. It's also the old, old neighborhood. It's an old neighborhood? Yeah, very old. Uh, and why do most people like, like this area? Most people like it, but some they can't afford. Oh. Because even their apartments is expensive. Let me say, a two bed apartment here yeah you can get at a cheaper place at around a hundred dollars per day hundred dollars a night a night that is for two bedroom and two bedroom that's also the cheap place oh that's on the, In the low, low end oh low side low I season guess. it has the golf course yeah this is where the golf course is and you know we say golf is for the rich i don't know about my westerners people what do you think do you think golf course is for the rich people <laughs> the place is very beautiful like yes look. you know there's a lot of villas you know it's yes. not these are usual usual buildings the place is talking for itself guys I don't have to say much like you can already see from what they have and I like the fact like every time these trees that I used to think they are like coconut trees I don't know where around and people get these trees there's so many of them like and they make the place look beautiful these they ones. look like coconut but I don't yeah. know <laughs> no they're just trees that they basically like grow nothing apart from the leaves yeah, look at this kind of house. They are villas. Wow. So, like, do you think, like, they have places for sale around this area? Here? Mm hmm Yeah, they do. But even their plot is expensive, man. Okay, how you know much? <clears throat> like, I don't know how you There see. is a plot yeah. that is costing, uh, let's say, more than $500,000. What? Yeah, here. Oh guys, look at these apartments, the white ones. Because those are for the investment, you know, for the... Look at these apartments. They are very nice. Yeah, they are very nice. Close to the golf course. 
This is still part of the golf course. Very beautiful, guys. I've been to this golf course. You can basically visit this golf course even if you don't play golf. They have a cafeteria where you can have, go have tea or coffee or some snacks as you pass time. I think this is the hotel, the B Hotel. Yeah, it's the B Hotel. Wow. Here, everything is expensive. Buying like a two-bedroom apartment yeah. can be like a, um, between one fifty one hundred and fifty and uh, two hundred thousand USD. What? Yeah, a two-bedroom apartment. When other places they are like thirty, thirty-five. Hey, yeah. Oh yeah. God. Look at how that wine is well taken care of, the plants. Oh god. And the good thing I love about like uh, Kigali or Rwanda basically guys is that most neighborhoods are accessible for you. Because in Nairobi some neighborhoods you just can't walk and be <laughs> recording. <laughs> no, it's not easy. Yeah, you can access them. And let me tell you, like now the weather in this area is different from what we had in in that other part of Kigali. <laughs> the atmosphere is different. Yeah. Wow. The atmosphere is giving rich vibe atmosphere. Oh man. This is very beautiful. So can like people in, like so most places uh, apartments here are for sale. Yeah, some are for sale. Mm -hmm. Not all of them, because uh, people who buy here, yeah. they buy for investment. Look at oh. this apartment here. You know, it's called White Stone. Oh God, can you see that? Just pass. Oh. White Stone. It's called white stone apartment. Oh man, it's very beautiful. Wow. And this golf course is very huge and they also have like apartments. I don't know if they'll be selling them, their condos. Is it because it was Nyarutarama also this expensive before the golf course? Uh, this is the only golf course in Kigali. Yeah. So, before, <laughs> let me tell you a story. Mm -hmm. There was one old man. Mm -hmm. uh, this place used to have, uh, used to have, uh, they used to make nice beer, local beer. Mm -hmm. So, that old man you remember this yes so guys <laughs> like no, no, so guys this is still in Nyarutarama the last time I saw this we were with Fikazo in town in Kenya that time he was in Kenya and I told him oh did you see that green uh, thing they made for people to work on so I've been told I can't walk on that green walking like they are very strict with their rules here because i have to have like sports clothes but i'm not on my sports clothes because i had not come here to do sports i was basically coming here to do a video so they had to tell me to walk on this side so if you need to run here or walk around here you need to have your sports clothes on you so it's like very long and this is the golf course they are still working on, I don't know if they are going to be apartments or if they are like hotel rooms, I don't know. And for those who are like watching this video and would, uh, would want to visit this neighborhood and have like, you know, this view and play golf, they, all, they have like free one hour discovery where you basically come to the golf course, pay nothing and have you like, you know, 
playing golf and maybe you might discover your hobby yeah so this is basically for people who are running and working out oh man guys you need to visit this neighborhood and have like there are people who are like building apartments here in kigali and they're not like so good with our with the current development so visit this neighborhood to have an idea of what you want build on your place on your land on your piece of land yeah, they say yeah you have also to mention that yeah i've said it on the video okay. when i was recording And you know like i realized they only had that what is it called the green whatever where people are working on in this neighborhood because rich people have time to work out <laughs> so that's why maybe they put it here in Yaruta Rama. i don't know why they chose this area is it because it's next to golf course but it could as well be in uh, remera where they have the stadium oh. In Remera, yeah. yes, it could happen. Mm -hmm. but, but why uh, did they choose the, uh, this area? That, uh, that, that area is busy. Oh. But in Yarutarama here, it's cool, you know, you just run for your, oh. do your exercise. So it's like Nyarutarama is for the retired people. They are not busy. <laughs> for no, you not rich people, they are not busy, man. They're enjoying their life. <laughs> How oh, they have they to make the those money, millers, you know. Rich people tell us the secret. How do you guys do it? You know, these some millers. of them, their money is working for them. Oh, you guys, you have to watch and subscribe to this channel so that my money starts working for me. Yeah, look at those apartments, they are nice looking. So if you're watching this video and you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, oh, you're making me suffer in this life. And I this want to have time. This is called Yarutarama Sports Trust Club. You know, oh. there's tennis court, aerobic, gym. Do you need to pay to go inside? Board building. Yeah, all this. These are where the rich people play from. The hey. gym, the what? It's closed. You know, <laughs> you need mem. You need to be a member. You need oh. a card. You, you need you them my card me oh you, you don't just have don't. to come and then say no i'm coming no way oh god guys do you hear that any member who has like a membership just go card and buy the membership who can take me there to that it's, place it's like the golf course you know at the oh. golf course you just buy the membership yeah and you come and pray and play wait you said this place is called it's called nyarutara mass sports club if you have a member a membership in Yarucharama Sports Club, I would love to visit the place. <laughs> Please hit me up and let's connect so that you take me there and also show me your ways on how you're making these monies. <laughs> and you know one thing is like people in Rwanda they have money. You know? Living here, running here in the evening or like morning runs. It will it will feel so good like you see they're all in sports clothes people will live here and this is the second time i've realized that every time i see someone walking around this area they're always in sports clothes they don't mind about being in cars or border border driving no they already experienced that so it's nothing new to them oh where was the president today huh? you know oh. he live he lived the other side close oh. where you did the intro Oh God, I didn't know. It's so, like they stopped. Well, so guys, we have to wait for His Excellency Paul Kagame to pass. <laughs> Why is that guy beeping? Like you can literally see like everyone is stopped. <laughs> it's crazy. Wow. How long do you think it's gonna take us before he passes? 30 minutes? No, it's few minutes. Uh, sometimes in Kenya it can take so long. Oh, 
one. Okay. Is this a hotel? It's a conference hall. Oh. Wow. It's like the guys are coming. Because you see, these people they are in here. They come here to have coffee, coffee. So the one coming, you know, they are lifting work. The sceneries, they are beautiful. Just love everywhere, how everything in Rwanda is green. Every part you go, there is green, green, the roads. See people are working out. White people running in the neighborhood. That tells you it's a safe neighborhood. Anyway, it's because most people say that when they see uh, white people in Africa neighborhoods like jogging, they'll be like, oh, it must be a safe neighborhood. But Africa is quite safe, guys. So many places in Africa are way safer than other parts of the world should all visit Africa and experience this. You don't have to be scared of what uh, negative medias out there are, you know, surfacing about Africa continent. This time I had a friend of mine who is not from Kenya. They were surprised to see that, to see white people running or jogging. Okay. okay yeah so this guy is basically stopping these guys from accessing this green part because they don't have if you don't clothes. put in the jogging uniforms I... you cannot access the place yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> they had to turn back they did that to me <laughs> yeah but you can see it for yourself guys that's what I saw when I was in Nairobi and I like it. Just uh, next to the golf course, you see people are working out, running. Oh God, is it that running people like sports so much or what? I don't know. I don't understand. No, you guys have a, like a free day. You this have is like a country for everyone. So everyone find its hobby here. Oh! You run, you play golf, you play basketball. Wow! There is everything. That is so nice. And this place, I is it like two parts? It's so like I don't know where it starts. Yes, it's where very big. it ends, but it starts on the other side. But remember, if you want to access this green part, I don't know how it's called. I look. There's a name. Is it walking ways? No, no. Is it jogging ways? I don't know. I, maybe it's have a jogging. specific name. Yeah, I saw. And they also have people cleaning it. 
Wow. Yeah, they give me so guys this is still in Nyarutarama. i was asking because of why they chose to have it here and not in me uh remera yeah remera there is a lot of uh sports uh there is the mm -hmm. uh, and then i think this is more peacefully than uh, <laughs> than remera remera is a bustling area you know oh. the people there you know. The hassle and the buzzers of there. real life. There's a lot of going on there. Oh. But is this is quite like a neighborhood. People where they live here, they. Yeah, there. It's no. This area is not much of. Uh, it's more of residential. Yeah, more of residential. Oh. Man, this thing is big. I didn't know. So big. If you're looking forward to lose weight just by walking, come and walk here. You will. One yeah. thing you don't even need to like jog. Just walk because it's healing. You're going to get tired and <laughs> have lost like two pounds by the time you're living here in in like three hours or so. It's wow. huge. I didn't know it was this huge. It's kind of it's surrounding the golf course. Yeah. Oh man. What? It's so huge. So this is still part of this is the rich guys. Mm -hmm. So this is the entrance of the golf course where you see that white the house. camera is not even doing justice to this neighborhood guys i don't i think my phone is getting old that's why oh another stop So another thing guys you have to know like in most places that you go in Kenya most apartments or houses you cannot see them you just see a wall but here in Rwanda I think one of their rules is when you're building you don't have to have your wall over like someone has to see your house is that a rule that you have yeah even people used to build the big low big walls, walls like yeah this. Mm -hmm. Ariko, but they are nowadays they build like this. They because you see, most like you, that's a wall. Like this, you can see the house, so you're not hiding so you the beauty. People can see the beauty of your house. Wow. And there are still some lands, maybe they are for sale. As Fikazo said, they are from Here you five. can find like less than 10 plots. I mean, <laughs> really? So they are all Most taken them, and people don't taken. want to sell them. <laughs> wow. I like there's something about weather in Rwanda because guys it's hot but the place is still green I don't understand how 
any scientist who is watching this video explain it to us on the comment section or people in Rwanda you can tell us what you do to keep your place always green There's a restaurant behind there called Delhi. <laughs> There's garden apartments. Oh. Yes, it's here. So guys, yeah, that's the end of our today's episode, a tour in one of the most uh, beautiful and also expensive, classy, bougie neighborhood here in Kigani, Rwanda, that is near Rutarama. Right now, at the moment of these apartments, they are called Rose Garden Apartments, where you can basically get a two-bedroom for that range from 100 to 150 US dollars a night. That is with all utilities inclusive, you have your washer, you have your cooker, you can basically cook in the house. You can also order around for, you know, people with money and you're just visiting for a short time. You don't need to bother yourself with cooking. There are so many cafeterias, there are so many restaurants around here. The golf course is just down here, so you can basically go eat there. They have like, their food is amazing. I ate there once and I liked their services are top notch. So tell me what you think about this neighborhood. This is gonna be the end of this episode. If you watched this video to this part and you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. I wanna come and live in this neighborhood. So see you on the next episode. Bye.